Hey, good morning everybody, Mike Makniak here. It is the uh, 12th day of January. Hope you're all doing well. I wanted to just continue on our discussion from yesterday about uh, pain and fear and fear of pain and uh, how that fear of pain or avoidance of pain really acts to keep us hamstrung and, and keeps us from getting in action. Um, the second fear that, are, that, that specialists um, or professionals or whoever studies this kind of thing have identified is this concept of uh, progress or process, I'm sorry, process pain. We human beings have an inherent fear of process, right? And what that means is really straightforward. It means that it's going to be a lot of work. I don't want to do that because it's going to be a lot of work to do it. You know, yesterday we talked about the fear of losing something if we do it. This is, well, I'm going to do it, but boy, I'm afraid to do it because it's going to be hard. Like, um, I don't, you know, I don't want to go running and get in shape because that's going to be hard. I don't want to go. I don't want to run every day. I don't want to have to go to the gym every day. What am I, 25? You know, I don't want to have that energy anymore. So... That's one of the major things that prohibits or inhibits us from acting is this idea of uh, the process that we have to go through to get there. So if you take some time today and think about some of the things that you're avoiding or some of the things that you're not doing because you are leery or uh, running away from the pain of the process, uh, it would be a helpful start to giving you some insights about some of the things that you may need to do and overcome that fear. As I said yesterday, human beings are like 10 times more likely. I don't know. I don't I forget what the statistics is, but the statistics the statistic says that we are much more likely to run away from things that we fear will cause us pain as we are towards something that may cause us pain but in the end will uh, make us better or make us put us in a better place. And the example I used was a root canal. I think that's a great example. Um, so think about things that you're avoiding because you don't want to have to go through the process of it. You know, are you avoiding uh, a tough conversation with a loved one, with your partner? Uh, are you avoiding um, setting boundaries with your child who is living in your home and, and is just uh, walking all over you? And you're avoiding the, the discussion because you think this discussion is going to be painful or you're avoiding the talk because you're afraid of, you know, the process of, of the discomfort. So anyway, give that some thought for today and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Have a great day.